get started subscribe to our youtube channel and click on the notification bell icon hey people welcome back so i assume that all of you have installed microsoft sql server management studio so first make sure that you are connected and here you go to databases click here and you see here we have the database that is adventure works 2019 and once you expand this you just click on this plus symbol and you see that here there are list of tables all right so let me just show this so you see here here this is the schema name that is human resources is schema name and department is table name similarly here person is schema name and address is table name so it is like schema name dot table name all right so let's take one table for example let's take human resources dot imply table so to see all the columns of the table you can just click on this plus symbol and you see these are all the list of columns and you see for example business entity id so this is one column and this is also called a field similarly we have national id number which is another field and we have login id and so on and you see here this is pk so pk denotes primary key and fk denotes foreign key so we are going to talk about pk and fk later on in the course at this moment you see that the third one we have is int that is integer so this particular field is of integer data type that means it will consider only the integer values next one we have is national id number and you see it is n varchar of 15 that means it is a string data type of 15 length so we are going to talk about all these data types later on in this course so at this moment let us try to focus on selecting the records from this particular table so for this what i'll do is let me just bring this towards left and this is my table so just click on this new query i'll just click on this new query and wait for it and you see now that we are into adventure works 2019 now it is very important that you should select adventure works 2019 and suppose you are in master so if you are in master project and if you want to go to adventure works 2019 then either you can just select here and choose this or you can just write here use adventure works 2019 and just click on this execute button so this is the execute button which will run all the sql queries so to run all the sql queries or any one sql queries you can just click on this execute button so you see if i just click it you see it says command completed successfully and now i'm into adventure works 2019 all right so let me just delete this and let's say i want to retrieve all the records from this table so for that the syntax is select star from table name so it is human resources dot employee so please note that here you have to give schema name dot table name where human resources is schema name while employee is table name and attend it is good to give semicolon even if you don't give semicolon it is not a problem but i would suggest you to give semicolon and if you just give select star that means you are trying to select all the columns of the table click on execute wait for some time and you see these are all the records from this particular table so you see we have business entity id we have national id number login id and so on and let's say if i want to only select few columns for example let's say i want to select only business entity id so i can just say business entity id and let's say i want to just get job title so i'll just say job title from this particular table name click on execute and this time it has only selected these two columns similarly let's say if i want to only select job title 
you see I am able to only select job title. Now here you see that we are having duplicate records as well. So if you want to select only distinct records then you can just give your distinct keyword and once you click on execute you see now it is showing only distinct records. So here you see it is showing 67 rows and previously if I just remove this distinct keyword click on execute now you see it is showing 290 rows that is the reason if you want to select only the distinct record that means only the unique records then click on execute and you will get only the unique records.